So I've gotten a little bit fancier here recently, and I've started trying to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve. This is the uh, free version, not the studio version. And I'm currently using my virtual machine to do this, which is kind of nice. And I found that if you change some of the settings, you can actually even get it to use the Tesla M40 for encoding. And what you have to do, at least what worked for me, is you go to the DaVinci Resolve option on the menu bar and then select Preferences. I'll do that again. And then from there, it'll go to Memory and GPU. And then uncheck Auto. Leave it on CUDA. And then select your video card and click Save. And from there, once you're done doing your video editing, you go to deliver, and it'll take a little bit of time here. It's not instant on my PC. And I like to do the YouTube setting. Apparently I'm limited to 30 frames. Oh, it's probably because the content's in 30 frames. And I found that if you tell it to use H.265 for the video codec, it'll actually use the GPU. For some reason with 264, it wasn't. So I think everything should be good here. And we'll add it to the render queue. Oh yeah, I gotta give it a name. This is actually gonna be for using this to make a video. Let's see here. Luckily, it's not showing on the screen what I'm doing because it's not part of the window. And it has files on my PC that would be showing otherwise. All right, so I have it set up in the queue and I'm gonna show task manager here. Oops, there we go. I'll kind of put that down in the corner. And we'll click render all. And as you see, there'll be a spike in the GPU utilization. I already was using a small percentage because OBS is doing a screen record right now for this video I'm making. But it's also hitting my GPU probably about 30% of utilization on top of what OBS is using. And the temps are staying pretty good considering I have my R720 at stock fan speeds right now. It is also hitting the CPU. I found that if I wasn't using GPU encoding, it would max out my, my cores. But with GPU encoding, it generally keeps around 70%, 70, 75. Looks like it predicts six minutes of time to encode this video. Obviously, I'm not going to make you sit through that, but hopefully this is uh, helpful for somebody. You can use a Tesla M40 in a virtual machine for editing videos with DaVinci Resolve. It just takes a little bit of tweaking and setup, but pretty minor stuff. And hopefully, as time progresses, I'll get better at using this. Right now, mostly what I've been using DaVinci Resolve for is editing my vertical video formats. I was using a different program um, that was also free, but it didn't allow GPU encoding. So it was really time consuming to do any kind of video editing. It's not that it mattered since most of my videos are scheduled anyways. It's pretty rare that I would upload a video the same day that it's been recorded. Generally, if that happens, it's going to be later in the day. Or maybe something crazy happened the night before and I got a idea to make a video and then change the little schedule I have of <laughs> randomly uploading videos that I find interesting. But... Yeah, this is uh, definitely going to be a good change, though. And the Tesla's staying reasonably cool. I mean, 
49 Celsius isn't terrible. I know if I try to play any VR games on a Tesla without increasing my fan speed, it'll peg it at its max of 90 Celsius and start thermal throttling. But hopefully that's helpful. I still need to make a video eventually of how to set up a headless graphics card on a virtual machine. Primarily it'd be for the Tesla, but the instructions will work for other cards as well. Just some different stuff. But thanks for watching.